Mackenzie Williams and I'm Genesis Williams. Domestic violence. It is an evolving problem in the United States today. Yeah. And on average, nearly 20 people are victims of physical violence by their partner. That equals to 10 million women and men. I sat down with Linda Russell to hear her story. My story began 25 years ago when my mom's boyfriend used to beat her. Then it started to progress to me when she didn't do what he wanted her to do. It took a toll on me emotionally, mentally, and then sometimes physically. What a brave survivor Linda is. She sure is. Let's take a look at some early warning signs of a domestic abuser. According to the domestic abuse hotline, an abuser may control their partner's seeds, destroy his property, and also show signs of jealousy, and even may intimidate the partner with a weapon. Thank you, Mackenzie, for those riveting facts. One in 15 children are exposed to domestic violence, making them prone to becoming abusers in the future. Some may think, why don't the victims just leave? Well, I'm here with Linda to tell us why. My mom wanted us to appear as a happy family, but we wasn't. So she stayed in an abusive relationship so that we can have a place to stay and financial stability. Here are some ways to overcome domestic violence. First, you should always tell someone that you trust. And if that doesn't work, you should contact the police or hotline, seek and secure shelter, or obtain a restraining order from your local magistrate court. I'm Genesis Williams. And I'm Mackenzie Williams for Channel 8 Action News.